fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the GP Dark Sentai gear set for Kikai Sentai Zen Kaiger. Basically this is a second premium Bandai release to round out our Dark Sentai gear collections. Very much a counterpart to the SG Dark Sentai gear set that I took a look at previously. And I did want to comment real quick. Um, I mentioned in that video that I wasn't sure why some were in the SG set, some were in the GP set, what the difference was. And I had a lot of nice people reach out in the comments of that video and even on Twitter to clarify it for me. So thank you guys very much. But basically what it boils down to, how the original gear for that team was released. So if the original gear for that team was released in one of the candy toy sets, then the dark version of the gear is part of the SG set. And if it, the original uh, gear for that team was released in one of the Gashapon waves, then the dark version is here in this GP set. So thank you guys very much for clarifying that for me. Uh, very happy to understand the difference there. Totally makes sense. So once again, we have one of these gigantic glossy boxes with a really nice giant picture of Stay Caesar here on the front. If we spin around to the back, it shows us all 26 gears that are included. We'll go ahead and open this up. We have this really nice foam on the inside of the box. And of course we have the foam insert inside. Holding all of the gears in place. I just like to open the box because I feel like this makes a really nice display piece. You can just kind of put this towards the back of a bookshelf or something like that. And it just holds all of them in place in order. They look beautiful. Absolutely love the metallic purple with the silver. Really, really happy with the way this turned out. Now these gears are, of course, 100% just purely aesthetic. They make no new sounds in either the Gear Tolinger or the Gear Tojinger. They will make whatever sounds the original uh, gear version of that team makes, so there's really nothing special in terms of playability. It's a purely cosmetic set, but it does look really, really nice. So I'm going to go through and just kind of show you the front and the back of each of the gears here. So we have Jack... Really nice. Next up we have Battle Fever. Up next we have Denjiman. Up next we have Sun Vulcan. Gogol 5. Dynaman, Change Man, Flash Man, And this is Mask Man, which always makes me laugh because the symbol on the back is a gigantic five. But it's not five, man. It's Mask Man. <laughs> Live Man. Turbo Ranger. Here's Five Man. Jetman, Die Ranger, Kaku Ranger, O Ranger. Gingaman Time Ranger Then we jump all the way to Geki Ranger That looks really sharp Then we have Shin Kenger Go Sager. Go Busters.
Kia ora to you, Drew. Toe Drew. And then we have Lupin Ranger. And Pata Ranger. So really nice set. Like I said, all of these really look beautiful. They're not going to do anything new in terms of sounds, but I thought for fun I would just pick a few favorites and we'll just go ahead and try them out in the gear to Jinger. So I just picked a few at random. Now, if you saw my review of the Gear Toe Jinger, you know that any gears you put in here, the sound effect for the second attack on both sides of the gear, as well as the holding down the trigger for all the gears are the same. So I'm not going to bother to do those. I'm just going to do the first attack on each side of the gear, just for the sake of time. And of course, these will make all the same sound effects in the Gear Toe Jinger as their normal gear counterparts. But first off, we will start with Kaka Ranger. Next up, I have Flashman. Next up we have Kyoryuger. And then last up, I have Lupin Ranger. I think this is a really beautiful set. Yes, it is purely for aesthetic purposes. These do not have any new functionality in either the Gear to Linger or the Gear to Jinger, but I still think they look absolutely fantastic. I personally am very happy to have a full set of Dark Sentai Gears for my collection, 
because I love the aesthetic of the metallic purple with the silver. I just think it looks really, really sharp. So I'm very happy to have a full set of these now. I also really like the box they come in. It has the nice foam insert. And this really does look good, just kind of propped up in a bookshelf. Makes for a very nice display piece. You don't really have to do anything. The gears held very nicely in there in the foam insert. You can take them in and out, no problem. But they still don't like fall out if you stand this up. So I think it really works. I like it a lot. Like I said, I know it is kind of an in in expensive cost for not really getting that much in terms of playability but they really do just look fantastic. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.